Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be walking you through just a quick little video on the until command. So what I have here is just a little bit of code, uh, nothing special. What happens though is we have an until bump command, and then we have start motor, wait, and stop motor. And you can see over here, I have some comments that kind of highlight what's going to happen. And the main thing I want to focus on here is the until bump. Okay, so what it has is two parts. It says until bump happens. And then it also tells you which bump inside parentheses, which bump are you interested in looking at? So the switch we have named here is the bump switch. Um, the, we've named it bump switch as well as it is an actual bump switch from our PoE test bed. So what's going to happen with this is if we have like a thousand lines of code and somewhere in the middle of that is an until command, what the until command says is, says, okay, it's going to progress through these lines of code. It's going to be moving down, moving down, moving down. And when it hits this, it's going to stop. And it's going to wait until something happens. In this case, we've told it to wait until the bump switch is pressed. And which bump switch is the one we've named bump switch. Okay. So the code is going to stick here. It's going to wait at line 18 until that bump switch is pressed. And once it makes it beyond that, then the bump switch is no longer an indication that we don't care anymore whether the bump switch is pressed. So it's going to start the motor. It's going to wait five seconds, which in essence is just making the motor let it run. And then it's going to turn the motor back off. So there are a whole list of bump commands, or excuse me, until commands right over here. If you expand the natural language menu and you click on until, we have all sorts of them that exist. And one of the things that you'll be tasked with doing over the course of the next month or two is just figuring out some of these and how they work and you know playing around with them and seeing which ones you like and which ones you don't, because you can definitely use those as part of your program. The program just pauses in place and waits and lets it do its thing until something happens that's of importance. So hope that helps. And now on to making the bump switch actually perform functions for you in 3.1.3.